Hey guys, this is Frozen Ding Steve's here, and I just got done watching Killers of the Flower Moon. And yeah, look at all these people watching uh, Taylor Swift and oh god, no, not Paw Patrol. Ugh. But yeah, I just got done watching Killers of the Flower Moon, and what can I say about it? Yeah, that was the longest movie I have ever seen. It was very exhausting because of how long it is. And even like just the way how I felt the movie, this felt like the longest movie ever I've ever seen, yeah. But even with that said, I think this movie is still a masterpiece, okay? As creator, um, Paw Patrol, Boo, oh, Trolls back together, Ugh. Okay, there's Curse of the Flower Moon, Tear Swift, I'll, I'm gonna try to see it on Sunday, otherwise next week. I, I might, I, I'm gonna try to watch this movie on Sunday, actually. And the Marvels. So yes, this movie is a masterpiece. Martin Scorsese, you've done it again. Yeah, this movie is just brilliant from start to finish. Even though, yeah, this movie is three hours long, and I did feel the three-hour run time, uh, this movie is still excellent. It, it's, a, it's a very well-made movie with such great performances, especially Leonardo DiCaprio, who... Uh, Gives his best performance in recent years. I don't think this is his best performance. That still goes to uh, Wolf of Wall Street, but um, still an excellent performance. Um, but oh, oh yeah, also I love um, Robert De Niro in it. Um, second best performance of him. Murray from Joker will always be his best performance. Uh, and also the, the small performances from Brendan Fraser and uh, um, forget the other one, Jesse Plemons. Great. Brendan Fraser's character is underrated. No one gives him enough credit. I mean, Brendan Fraser, man, yeah. This guy's in a roll with first the whale last year, now this year. He's underrated. But but I think I agree with everyone else. The standout of the movie has to be Lily Gladstone. That's Molly. Oh, love Lily Gladstone, yeah. Molly is now my second favorite Martin Scorsese character. Second only behind Naomi from Wolf of Wall Street. Absolutely loved her. And... Uh, Lily Gladstone needs to win the Oscars. In fact, I want to see more Lily Gladstone in movies. Like, she would make a perfect Pocahontas in uh, in the, the Pocahontas remake, which I hope happens. And and yeah, the story is excellent. I love this whole true story uh, about the Osage, the Osage murders. It, it just uh, just showing us how how horrible humanity is, and you know all that stuff. Um, and Martin Scorsese's direction is just uh, clever. Um, I'm in a hurry now, I have somewhere to go to, so um, I won't take much time here, but yeah, this movie. Now, it's not one of the best movies of the year. Um, I don't know if I call this one, but it is not a masterpiece. It's one of the best made, film, made films of the year, I will say. This is probably, um, I, in terms of 2023 ranking, um, I say this is an honorable mention, actually, to my best movies of the year list. I put this up below John Mc Chapter 4. That's how it is. Yeah. I put this below John Wick Chapter 4. Um, and. Uh, um, oh my god, damn, it's echoing here. In terms of Martin Scorsese movies, I put this as my. Right now, this is my fourth favorite Martin Scorsese movie. You already know what my favorite films from him are. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for the elevator, but I'm gonna conclude here. So, yeah. Wolf of Wall Street, Hugo and the Party are still better, but I actually prefer this. I think this movie top good fellas. Yeah, I'm going that far. So yeah, so that's all for my quick out of the theater reaction for Kiss of the Flower Moon. Stay tuned for my review of the movie.